So it looks like we do have that hold. Dragon SpaceX on Big Loop. The ground is go for approach two. We will be enabling the resume shortly. As a reminder, ensure your visors are closed prior to Dragon's departure from the waypoint. And once Dragon is inside, the crew hands-off point, retreat and breakout are not permitted. And for your awareness, we have sunset in a little less than 8.5 minutes. I can copy these all on the big loop. Go for docking. Doug on uh, on the spacecraft confirming their go for docking. They're going to put down their visors. Got some uh, instructions there about the the crew hands off point that we had talked about earlier. That's a point where we don't want the the crew issuing any commands to the vehicle. It's about uh, just about two meters away from the docking adapter. I believe the number is about 1.7 meters. Station Houston on the big loop. Houston and Station are now go for docking. Chris, you can monitor per steps three and four. Three and four in one decimal one zero four. Crew Dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Copy steps three and four. Next Dragon on the big loop. Our visors are down. Copy visors down. Crew confirming their visors down. We should see the final approach resume. Copy inbound. And we're going to be racing that sunset. The approach has resumed. Dragon closing in. We're inside 20 meters. And yeah, that, that crew hands off point uh, should come up in about three minutes or so, uh, right before we get that final docking. It comes about 20 seconds prior, or just about two meters away from the station still. And that's uh, just the crew not issuing any abort commands. At that point, it would be uh, too late. And so any aborts would be executed automatically by Dragon itself. So we're closing in at less than a tenth of a meter per second at this point. You can see the, the service section Draco is just doing all these very small minor attitude corrections. Really the, the autonomous docking system at work, making sure that the, the uh, vestibule and the soft capture system is lined up with IDA2, it's the international docking adapter. You can see much more clearly there the hinge mechanism for the nose cone. Those four uh, black circles are the forward bulkhead Dracos, not to be used at this time. And then, of course, the, the pedals of the soft capture system. Wow. Dragon on the big loop, we're inside 10 meters. We cannot make out the dark docking target, but we do see the outline. We copy and concur, 10 meters. All right, we're less than 10 meters away. Again, we're closing at that rate of less than a tenth of a meter per second. We should be just about one minute, 45 seconds away from docking. There is a, uh, a center line camera right in that middle so that you can see where the Ford hatch is uh, and right in the middle of that there's a window and there's a center line camera that is aligned with the center of the vehicle and the center of the docking mechanism. So that is, is what the autonomous docking system is using to line up with uh, sort of a cross hatch, um, cross target on the, the docking port. Again, the Ford docking port um, on PMA2, or the pressurized mating 
adapter. And we are just five meters away. Again, we're racing that sunset. This dragon continues to close, four meters to go. Those shadows of the, of the space station on the vehicle. Yeah, you can actually see the uh, centerline camera pretty clearly there, um, sort of with the contrast of the, the sun right now. Three meters to go. Two meters. We are inside the hands-off point, the chop, the crew hands-off point. One meter to go. Soft capture complete. Dragon in <laughs> Soft capture confirmed. Stand by for retraction and docking. Standing by. And we just heard it. Soft capture. We have docking. That coming at 7.16 a.m. Pacific time with the station and Dragon flying 262 statute miles right over the border between northern China and Mongolia. You saw a little bit of motion there uh, of Dragon. That was that relative motion that the soft capture system is damping out. Once that motion is, is clear, then uh, the soft capture system will be retract, retracted and uh, Dragon will go for hard capture. Again, if just now tuning in, that soft capture, that docking coming 7.16 a.m. Pacific, 10.16 a.m. over on the East Coast. Dragon and the International Space Station were flying 262 statute miles right over the border between northern China and Mongolia. So that soft capture ring now going to retract. It's one more step on the way to docking complete. On board. Yeah, and so the, the next step here is once, once the soft capture ring is retracted, there are uh, 12 latches that we refer to as hard capture latches. Um, those are what will really create that pressure tight seal between the Dragon spacecraft and the International Space Station. So once soft capture is complete, and uh, I believe we'll get that call from, from our core here, Anna then uh, we'll, get, we'll get confirmation of hard capture. And uh, the crew, of course, aboard have, have this information on their displays. So they'll also see indication of hard capture complete. And uh, once those two steps are done, then that's, that's docking complete. That's right, and we're, we're expecting to hear some words from everybody. A pretty monumental moment. I mean, for Doug Hurley, he's returning to where he last docked uh, almost nine years ago on the very last space shuttle mission, uh, now commanding the very first commercial spacecraft to deliver astronauts to the International Space Station. That's, that's got to be cool for them. Uh, they've, they've mentioned quite a few times that their best friends uh, are our favorite dads in space, as we've been calling them. Uh, this, is, this has got to be really cool for them. Dragon SpaceX docking sequence is complete. Next Dragon, we copy docking complete. To say that it's been a real honor to be just a small part of this uh, nine-year endeavor since the last time the United States spaceship had stopped with the International Space Station. We have to congratulate the men and women of SpaceX at Hawthorne, McGregor, and at Kennedy Space Center. Their incredible efforts over the last several years to make this possible cannot go overstated. I'd also like to thank Kathy Leaders and her team of the Commercial Crew Program of NASA. An outstanding job by everyone. 
Last, I'd like to thank the, the men and women of the National Aeronautics and Space Agency. This is an incredible time to be at NASA. Three new vehicles to be flown, continuing mission in low Earth orbit, and then to the moon and Mars. We thank you again and congratulate you. Dragon arriving. Crew of Expedition 63 is honored to welcome uh, Dragon and the commercial crew program to uh, welcome aboard the International Space Station. Bob and Doug, glad to have you as part of the crew. Well done. Bravo Zulu. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Endeavor, this is Houston. Bob and Doug, welcome to the International Space Station after your spectacular rendezvous and docking of the first Crew Dragon vehicle. For the first time since the retirement of the space shuttle, you have completed a historic ride to the ISS and have opened up a new chapter in human space exploration. On behalf of the flight control teams here in Houston and in Hawthorne, California, and to our SpaceX colleagues, bravo on a magnificent moment in spaceflight history and on the start of a new journey that has changed the face of space travel in this new area of space transportation. Bob and Doug, good luck, and we look forward to working with you on board. Dragon SpaceX, Bob and, Doug. Bob and Doug, we here at SpaceX are honored to have been part of ushering in this new era of human spaceflight. On behalf of the SpaceX and NASA partnership, congratulations on a phenomenal accomplishment and welcome to the International Space Station. Well, thank you, Anna. We appreciate uh, all the good words and uh, everyone thanking us, but it truly was a magnificent effort by the entire team, the SpaceX team, the NASA team, and a team across America who was able to pull this off and bring human spaceflight again to our nation. Thanks for everything. Happy to be aboard. And Dragon SpaceX, with that, ground will be enabling hard line power and comm connection shortly. You are go to doff your suits per procedure 4.012. We will be configuring your video to go external shortly, and we have one request for Bob's suit doffing when you're ready to copy. <laughs> 